The following is an ABC7 sports presentation. Technically, it's just a game. Blocking, tackling, catching, throwing, stuff like that. Two schools, one ball. Whichever team scores the most wins. It's intoxicating, you can't get enough of it. But you know, and I know, it's so much more than that. The greatest game of them all because of the pageantry, the excitement that comes with, uh, you know, college football. It's hard to describe to people who haven't been here. It's first downs and it's letdowns. This is a good business when things are going well. It is a tough business when it's not. It's full of drama. Flutie flushed, throws it down. Caught by Boston College, I don't believe it! With endings nobody can predict. He's got three people down there. The ball's up in the air. Touchdown! Or forget. All the field is out on the field. He's going to go to the end zone. He's going to go to the end zone. It teaches a young man so much about life and what they have to do in order to be successful uh, down the road. It's a pure game that uh, I love. I love college football. Greatest team game ever invented. This is my life. College football is what I was born to do. It's college football, and it's time. ABC7 Sports presents Tim Brandt's College Football Preview. The Gossett football team house is adjacent to the east end zone of Maryland's Bird Stadium. It's considered one of the best athletic and academic facilities in the nation. And the Terps hope it's a gateway to a championship. So come on inside, everybody. Bird Stadium is all dressed up for Monday's date with Miami. Hello again, everybody. I'm Tim Brandt. Glad to have you along for an hour of local college football flavor. You know, some of the Maryland Terrapins right here have called these tumultuous times. Others have said it's a healthy transition. And the reason, well, the University of Maryland has a new president, Dr. Lowe, new athletic director, Kevin Anderson, and with the departure of ACC Coach of the Year, Ralph Regan, they have a new head coach in Randy Etzel. You have to believe Randy Etzel is going to have a lot of butterflies come Monday. Anytime you start a new job, and I know you're not just starting, but in reality you are. I mean, now you're ready to go. What's, what's it feel like? Um, I don't feel butterflies. I just, I feel, I feel very confident in terms of knowing that, uh, you know, I have a plan in place that, uh, you know, if we go out and do, execute the plan, you know, we're going to be very, very successful, you know, and um, I'm just anxious to get going because it seems like it's been a long seven months, but now this is the fun part, you know, where you can go out and and really work and get prepared to play games. Where does this team and talent, after you've evaluated them, where are they? More or less than you thought they'd be? Well, there's some, there's some uh, areas that I feel very good about. There's other areas where we still have to, uh, you know, get better. But overall, you know, you know, I think we're in a pretty good situation. You know, linebacker, we're not as deep as we need to be. We only have four scholarship linebackers uh, on the roster right now. Uh, we're not going to be able to do anything more about that this year, but uh, I, I, I like what we have. I like the approach that the young men have taken. And the thing that's important to me is, you know, I see that the, the guys have bought in to what we're doing. I want to ask you about one of your leaders. And, and first of all, that'll be my question. Is he one of the leaders? But on the cover of a lot of these magazines now, Danny O'Brien's pictures right there on the cover. ACC Rookie of the Year, and I know you want to take him to that next step, that next level. Now let's move on beyond where you were. Has he gotten there, and is he the leader? Well, the nature of the position makes him a leader, but to me, he's a, he's a natural leader. Uh, he's not a captain by name, but he's a captain on the field because, to me, the quarterback position is a captain because you're in that huddle. You know, you've got, you know, 10 sets of eyes on you all the time. And so you've got to be the leader. You've got to be the guy who's, you know, instilling confidence, you know, in those other 10 and really the rest of the offense and almost the whole team because, like I said, because of how important that position is to your team. Running back, you lose Darrell Scott, but you still have Devin Meggett. You still have some young guys coming up. Happy with the offense, the way the personnel has come out? Yeah, I, I tell you, I, I love uh, Dave and Beggett. You know, I have more fun with him just sitting down in a room <laughs> and having a conversation with him. I've been around some pretty good running backs uh, in my time as a head coach and as assistant in the NFL college. You know, but this guy, you know, when I've watched him play, but then really this spring getting a chance to see him up close and personal, you know, there's something about him, Tim, that I haven't seen in some of the other guys that I've been around 
uh, he's got this knack to be able to run as fast as he has to run but not get caught. And, you know, that's something that you don't coach. You know, that's just innate ability that he has. You know, playing defense, half of it is wanting to. And all you have to do is take one play out of last year, and you can tell the bell cow on that defense. Fourth and goal against Navy, and Kenny Tate just stuck, I mean, just stuck the ball carrier and ended the game right there. Tell us about Kenny Tate. Well, it's another, he's another coach on the field. You know, that's the thing that, uh, that impresses me about Kenny. Kenny is, uh, is a young man who is uh, very intelligent, uh, really understands the total concept of what you're trying to do schematically, defensively, understands not only what he's supposed to do, but how all the parts fit and how they're supposed to interact to be successful. Plus, he's a guy who can make a, a tremendous amount of plays for you. Head coach Randy Etzel had the University of Connecticut in the Fiesta Bowl just eight months ago, and the Maryland fans hope Randy can get the Terps to a BCS. But it's a tough schedule. They open with Miami. That's followed by the Mountaineers of West Virginia. October is highlighted by Florida State, while Notre Dame is the showcase game in November. He is where he's from. Take a trip to Glen Rock, Pennsylvania to get the real deal on Randy Edsel. There's a good kid. Got into trouble, but you know, not bad trouble. Plus, from Silver Spring to two-time Super Bowl champ, catch up with a local legend. We were the only Maryland team ever to beat Penn State. And up next, what's in store this season for the Hokies and the Cavaliers? That and more when Tim Brandt's college football preview continues.